So with that, we are going to go ahead and get started with our minute or so with SWE PNW. Up first, changing up our topics a little bit this month, is uh, we're going to kind of just do a quick rundown of how SWE PNW can com uh, communicates to our section members. Uh, we've got a lot of great tools with um, a lot of information out there that not everybody always remembers. So uh, reminding everybody that we do have a web page, this is your starting point for all things SWE PNW. You can see the web address there. You can also find it on Facebook. We'll put it in the comments on the YouTube video. Uh, it's your starting point to get to all of the rest of the stuff if you can't remember how to get there. Up next, we have our Rainy Day Reads, which is our blog. There is tons of great content out there, including articles by guest contributors, um, topics on STEM. Uh, we try to get our event recaps out there. Um, and we're also going to be referring to that throughout our presentation today for uh, additional information. One of the other ways that we communicate with our section members is we do have a periodic newsletter. It's Notes from the Northwest. It's distributed by our email. Um, you can find past issues up on the website. It's a PDF document that goes out as an attachment. And uh, basically what we're doing this year is we're kind of doing it as a quarterly newsletter on very specific SWE PNW topics. So if you're looking for that, make sure that you check our webpage. In order to keep everybody in the loop on things, we do a monthly events email. It goes out on an e email um, from our, our distribution list. You can also find all of our past emails under our FY18 communications archive. Um, and then basically, if you can get it in your inbox, but you can also find it on the web page. So there's a couple ways to make sure you can get and digest that. And then finally, on kind of our uh, big push communication platforms is we do have social media. We've got the latest and greatest news events and pictures from us as a section, the Sweet Society. Um, we try to keep this very up to date in terms of what we are pushing out there. And it's basically our primary platforms are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can see our lovely handles there. Now, I think Marina's got a few more updates in terms of how you can connect with Sweet PNWs to keep an eye on our events. So, Marina, you want to walk through this part of it? Sure. So there's lots of ways you guys can stay up to date with what SWE PNW is doing. Uh, first of all, we have a Google Calendar where all of our events and activities are listed so you can keep track of when things are happening. Um, and then we also have a Facebook page. We are pretty active on our Facebook page sharing interesting posts about things you'd be interested in as well as lots of contact, uh, content about our events and links to RSVP uh, and pictures from our past events. Uh, we also have an email list um, where you can stay up to date by getting our monthly email blasts or uh, events targeted to specific um, uh, upcoming events. Uh, and you can customize your email preferences so that you only receive the content that you're actually interested in. If you want to hear about outreach or book club, you can make those settings for yourself. And then lastly, we keep all of our events tracked through Eventbrite. So if you're looking to RSVP for one of our events, Eventbrite is definitely the place to start. Um, so you can search for SWE PNW and find a list of our upcoming events there. Yeah, that's a really cool thing on the Eventbrite side that if you go to the Eventbrite page and search SWE PNW, you'll see all of our different events um, because each of our areas kind of organizes their own events. We do also have all of the Eventbrite and email list and Facebook links and Google Calendar, it's all up on our webpage which is where I want to highlight our handy dandy memory cue for that. For this time, we've introduced it on the left hand side on the PowerPoint. We've got a nice yellow bar and that yellow bar indicates that there is going to be more information either out on our website or out on our blog for the topic that we're uh, discussing. Because let's all be honest, there's only so much you can fit on slides, right? Um, so coming up next, I think that we've got a uh, a recap of, of or should, sorry, a look forward of what we've got going on with our events in April and a little bit of a tease into May. So Marina, if you want to walk us through this, tell us what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, so we have um, a few outreach events scheduled for this month, and I believe we're still looking for volunteers for all of those. So we have a Girl Scout workshop in Bellevue um, and our regular Kids in Science and Engineering program, which takes place Friday afternoons at Kimball Elementary. Uh, and then we are having in a movie event uh, as part of our book club. Um, last month's book was Ready Player One, and then we're following up with a Sui Goes to the Movies event to see the Ready Player One movie. Um, and then we have our executive council meeting on the 22nd, um, outreach committee meeting, 
in uh, on April 29th. Um, so you, if you're interested in getting more involved with our outreach activities, you should definitely attend that. Uh, and then looking ahead, we have our annual banquet on May 6th, and we have a very exciting speaker lined up. So you should definitely look at purchasing tickets to our brunch banquet. Uh, and then we have a few dates listed here regarding our elections, which I'm sure we're going to talk about a little bit more later. Um, but the important dates to keep in mind are that the nomination and interest period closes on the 18th, uh, and then voting period will close on May 1st. So, so just to clarify that last one, the, the first date that Marina talked about is our section election. The May 1st is actually the society level election. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in our regular sweep PNW and our region and society level business sections. Thank you, Teresa. That's good to know. Yeah. And so speaking of that banquet, I th you mentioned that there was a really cool keynote and it's at a really cool place. Do you want to talk to us about some of those details? Sure. So uh, like I said, it's on Sunday, May 6th. Um, it's at Ray's Boathouse Seattle, which has um, an awesome view of the water. It's located in Ballard, um, and the food there is really good. And it's and uh, it's a great chance to uh, enjoy brunch with your fellow SWE members and to celebrate all the success that we've had this year. Um, so we will present our section awards and give an overview of the highlights uh, from our year and recognize some of our volunteers, and then. Uh, Jill Tejan, who is a past SWE Society president, will be our speaker. Um, so we're all really excited to hear her talk about her experiences. Um, yeah, she definitely has a lot of different experiences that she's going to share. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to and excited to see which direction she goes with her keynote for our, our banquet. Yeah, and that event is already live to purchase tickets to, right, Teresa? Yes, it is. It is up on um, our Facebook page. Awesome. Well, I know I'm looking forward to it. So one of the things with there, you mentioned that we've got a section awards program, and I'm sure, as with anything, everybody would like to know what that is and how they can submit. Do you want to walk us through what we're what we have for this year's awards? Of course. Um, so we have our a few different awards um, that will be awarded at the banquet. So the first one is our Members Choice Award. So that's a peer nominated award that recognizes a SWE PNW member for their work with the section. Uh, so they're nominated by a current SWE PNW member, uh, and then the final selection will be made by the leadership team. We also have our Most Valuable Person MVP award, uh, and that goes to a person who made a significant impact on the section leadership, development, or growth. Uh, they will be formally nominated by members of the SWE PNW leadership with suggestions from committee and section members. And then we have two Volunteer of the Year awards that go to our Outreach and Professional Development volunteers. Uh, so the outreach one goes to a person that actively participated in um, planning outreach events sponsored by SWE, and they'll be formally nominated by the SWE PNW leadership team, with, uh, but they'll take suggestions from committee se and section members. And then similarly, the volunteer of the year for professional development, uh, it goes to a person that actively planned and supported um, social networking or professional development events, and they'll also be selected by the leadership team. But yeah, if you have someone in mind that you think deserves one of these awards, uh, be sure to send in your nominations by April 26th. And there's more info about that on our website if you want to know how to submit that nomination. Yeah, that's a great point there, um, Marina, that you know our forms for the submission is going to be up on there. All of these are driven by SWE PNW member um, suggestions. So we really want to get your guys' feedback as to who you think should uh, get these awards this year. Uh, and it's a really cool presentation, and they, they do get recognized up in front of uh, everybody at the banquet. So it's a really neat experience to not only get to meet them, but to get to hear about what they've done for the section um, at the banquet. So yeah, th I'm really excited for the awards program this year. Um, I think one of the other things that we've got coming down the pipeline is I hear rumors that we have some sweet PNW swag in the works. We What's do. What's up with that? Yeah, so we're really excited to introduce new swag for SWE PNW. Um, so we are offering two different items. There's a gray cardigan um, and then a black zip-up fleece. Um, so that'll definitely help you help you stay cozy during uh, the cold PNW uh, months. <laughs> but uh, so all the sizing and options are listed on our blog. I definitely recommend checking out that if you're not sure 
which item you want to get or how it'll fit. Uh, and then to purchase one of these items, uh, go to go our Google Form survey that's also linked on the blog and select what you want and then uh, submit a $30 deposit to pnw at sweet.org via PayPal um, or go to paypal.me slash sweet pnw slash 30. Um, and then Dana Day, our outreach uh, VP, will be sending invoices if you haven't paid your deposit. Uh, and then all of these surveys need to be completed pretty soon. The deadline for this is April 15th, and then the deposit has to be paid by April 16th. So don't miss out on your chance to acquire some of our newest swag and complete that survey soon. Yeah, and the reason we've got those dates for the deadline on, on this particular round of orders is because if you do it by those dates, we will be able to hopefully get it to everybody who's ordered it by the banquet, I believe, is our target goal. So yeah, some really exciting uh, sweet swag here. Um, so I do hope everybody checks out that Rainy Day Reads blog post on it. Um, and the sizing information there, it's very detailed. So uh, you should be able to help um, pick your size from the information there. And if you got questions, just go ahead and let us know on that. All right, so coming up to one of our last bits here in terms of our kind of sweet business side is we do have some active sweet PNW special task forces and I'll, I'll just do a quick run through on these to give everybody an idea. We do have an ongoing section election standard operating procedures task force. The exciting thing is we'll be talking a little bit about what that has been uh, providing inputs for this year's election cycle and it will continue. This task force will continue into next year. So if you're interested in looking at that or helping with that, that let us know. Um, we're also working on a section travel reimbursement policy task force. Um, part of that's being driven by the regions dissolving at the end of this year and making sure that we have funding at a section level to support uh, sending people to conferences. Um, we, as always, are continuing to work on our behind the scenes infrastructure with regards to the glory of paperwork and record keeping. It's a very exciting paperwork driven um, and digital side file driven uh, task force there just to make sure that we've got what we need to maintain um, not only our section for our events and our event planning for our members, but that we're in good standing with the society and as a nonprofit. And then finally, we've got a task force that I think is just sort of in the beginning stages of forming, which is our scholarship program and program evaluation and improvement, looking at how we do our section level scholarships and how we can improve that to not only uh, potentially update our materials on that, but look at how we can streamline the application process. So as always, there is a ton of sweet PNW stuff going on, both on the activity side, the events um, um, and activities that you can attend, there's behind the scenes planning, and then there's behind the scenes business. Uh, so with that, we'll wrap up the minute or so with sweet PNW section. <laughs>